actually we wrote it as a team. On the one hand, we are um, scientists working in research and education in sustainable development. We represent both ecological and socio-economic perspectives. We have experience in transdisciplinary research for sustainable development and uh, also a lot of teaching and learning experience. On the other hand, we have an expert from um, the curriculum development unit. Uh, he brings in evidence from pedagogical research, from didactics, uh, psychological research, learning, and so on and so forth. So uh, this combination of experience and scientific evidence allows us to outline uh, learning scenarios which are innovative and suitable for sustainable development. Sustainable development seeks to find appropriate solutions for complex challenges. Complex challenges result from the environment and the society changing together. Science, on the other hand, is organized in disciplinary structures. So when it has to uh, analyze complex systems dynamics, it often acts like the famous six blind people investigating an elephant. Each of them is touching a different part of the elephant, coming to completely different conclusions about what the elephant really is. All are somehow right, all are somehow wrong, but nobody grasps the nature of the elephant as a whole. And well-tested but isolated scientific solutions will not really um, hit the nail on the head. In transdisciplinary cooperation, the border between research, implementation and learning becomes fuzzy. You know, knowledge and skills are highly decentralized. There are a lot of actors who have knowledge and skills which are relevant to solve societal problems. The art is now to integrate them. But this requires that we accept uh, different perspectives, different values and also different perceptions and it requires a very good and very understandable communication. Many of us engaged in sustainability science are dissatisfied with its effectiveness, especially in the context of sustainable development. Take our consumption patterns, for example, food, fuel, whatever. Um, far from being sustainable, despite decades of education, increased volume of education in environmental issues and sustainable development. So as scientists we cannot be happy with that. We cannot solve problems with the same mindsets that has created them. What we can do is designing teaching learning arrangements which make so-called transformative moments more likely to occur. And what definitely opens such windows for transformative moments is encounters of students with students from other disciplines, with practitioners, under real life situations and outside the classroom. Sustainable development requires self-reflective and responsible personalities. We use a very broad understanding of competences. Um, we try to build scientific knowledge, professional skills and critical awareness including values, uh, attitude and so on. This requires a more active involvement of students, more learning and less teaching. We build on situational didactics. We take real situations or cases or problems as a starting point and as an anchor of the knowledge that has been uh, built up in theoretical uh, exercises. And finally, to increase the probability that students really learn what they need in sustainable development is uh, constructive alignment. That's a linking tool that links Three elements, that's learning outcomes, learning activities and assessment. The intention of our book, Transdisciplinary Learning for Sustainable Development, 
is to share our experience. There are no blueprint solutions. What we show is a lot of tips and tools which are based on educational research. On the one hand, we offer our experience, we present detailed descriptions of our courses. So the book will be available soon, both online and as a print version, and we hope to animate a lot of colleagues uh, to use these example or to use these examples um, to develop their own innovative teaching for sustainable development.